And as soon as I walked, saw him walking across the room, I'm thinking, okay, first of all, let me just meet him halfway because there is no way. When I tell you, I was flabbergasted, discombobulated, crankum crankum, disgusted, afraid, frightened, disheveled. Don't see so far. Hello, people of the internet, people of the earth. Oh, wait, hold on. My nails, my nails, first of all. Winnie's claws. Winnie's claws. I have called for this gathering because I want to tell a story. Y'all be asking me for story times. All of the story times I have left in me, that it's either they're dodgy or they're just weird. I don't want this bump to be here all throughout the story time so basically one ding dong day i was minding my business i think it was curiosity and boredom but i went to go and download pof if y'all don't know what pof stands for it stands for plenty of fish it stands for plenty of fried human beings scary human beings and obviously the thing with that app is that you can't determine who actually messages you it's just a headache, like, it's just a headache. The only thing that redeems that app, yeah, is the live streaming section. When my Mac brush, I'ma paint my face. That's the Mac blush, ooh. I like your hair, I like your face. I like your cheek, I like your teeth. You, ha you have your white teeth, I like it. Yeah. That's just a whole nother story for a whole different day. Now, this person that like, messages me, the person only has one picture. Obviously, I know. Where's my disclaimer? Disclaimer, yeah, the story is dumb, but we here. Let's call him Gentleman. So, Gentleman's profile only had one picture. It was bad quality because I couldn't really couldn't really make out his face but he was wearing like a suit and he was like leaning on a wall on his profile he put that he was 28 it was a whole life I wasn't really paying attention to the conversation because there was like 50 other messages yeah from other people and there was like about 10 that I was actually engaging in so I wasn't really paying attention I didn't actually think the picture was bad quality on purpose I just thought it was my internet because my internet be temperamental. Anyways, nice old chat, you know. The gentleman was like, oh, when are you free? I know a really good place near London Bridge. This is, this is that. Yeah, so we set up the date, whatever. But yeah, you know what? I was actually feeling kind of off. This is a really stupid reason to feel kind of off. They're having a normal conversation, yeah. And the gentleman was like, let's play two lies and one truth. Here's two truths. Were. He partied with Ludacris for his birthday. First of all, does Google recognize you? Does does Google know you? Google cannot even recognize your name. I'm really thinking. Okay, you you definitely didn't party with Ludacris. And then the other one was that he owned like a boat, a boat house or something. I can't remember the third one, but oh yeah, basically he was like, oh let's play the game here. He didn't even wait for me to reply. He had already typed out his two truths and one lie. I'm really thinking. Yeah, you're you're a little bit weird. The conversation was so normal, so basic. And then he just comes up with this and it's kinda like, Sir, what is you doing? We gon' we gon' get to that. I don't know, it's just it's just gave me an off feeling. Like it just progressively just got worse. <sighs> So now the day comes, yeah, that I'm supposed to meet him. Obviously, I'm com I was coming back from work. I think he was trying to, like, see where I was. And I was like, oh, I have got an orange Sainsbury's bag. He's like, how chic and classy. I said, do you want to fight me? Do you want to catch his hand? Bitch, I'll catch you in the street. Some with that beef. Bitch, I'll beat your way. Don't be being rude. Don't be being rude, even if it was rude banter. So, I don't know you, so y'all better keep that. Anyway, so I go into the place now and I'm looking, I'm looking for him or whatever. Everyone there is dressed like not fancy. People are like coming from work or whatever. So everyone was like casual, kind of like a business casual kind of thing. Basically, I walk, I walk into this place, this establishment. I just deeped 
I don't really know how this person looks. This is literally like a blind date. This is a blind date. I don't know how, I don't know how this person looks. Who is this person? A whole flipping stranger. And obviously I look like my pictures. So he was able to recognize me. Then I'm at where you stand to like get a table. He comes and he walks across. No, I don't want to be rude, but okay. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So he walks across the, the room. And as soon as I walk, saw him walking across the room, I'm thinking, okay, first of all, let me just meet him halfway because there is no way, there is, let's just cut, let's just cut the time in half. Let me meet you halfway. Let me meet you halfway because there's no, I didn't want to even take in what I was actually seeing. I don't want to take in, like, I just didn't want to deep it too much. I was like, already, like, I was just like, hell no, hell no. First of all, the picture, the picture was different from 1985. There's no way where you can look less than 30 in a photo, but in real life, it's, it's, it's not making sense. So the picture was definitely old. It didn't look like an old picture. It just looked like a bad quality picture. He was wearing, do you know those like, it was like a floral shirt, a floral button up shirt, but it was like really odd colors. And he was just wearing these trousers that were just really ill fitting. Like they were really like, oh, I know I'm dragging this man on the internet. I'm so sorry, it's a story time and I'm just I'm just sharing my experience, so I'm just sharing my experience, love. I just want to blame my. He's got a lot going on. So obviously you get at the table. I'm just I'm just flabbergasted, really. Like I'm looking at him. I was looking at him and he was looking at me and I was thinking, oh old, old man. <laughs> and I kind of deep like why he used that picture. It's because he don't look like they in real life. And he probably doesn't have any recent photos of him. Obviously, after like, you know, some small chat, I'm like, oh, how old are you? How old are you? Then he's like, how old do I look? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, just how old are you? He was like, well, I can't tell you my age. And I was like, um, why? He was like, because um, it's something that I'm insecure about. And I said, how can you be insecure about an age? Well, the whole dang lie. You can even dress up, like you can even make an effort. You can even like, at least wear the same suit. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't fit. Like, it was just mad, like, just very awkward. He was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you my age. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is gonna work out if you're not gonna tell me your age. But it was never gonna work out. Even if he, I said, how can you be insecure about an age? He was like, oh, you're gonna see when you reach 35, you, um, that's when life ends. And I'm really thinking, sir, sir, first of all, we have different genes. Maybe your genes, didn't, it just didn't bang. Maybe your gene pool just didn't bang. Maybe, oh. he's like, yeah, you'll understand. Um, you'll get insecure about your age too. And I'm really thinking, that's really weird. Like, that is really weird. And then I was like, um, okay then. He basically told me that, oh, I'll give you a clue on my age. I held this, her name was on the tip of my tongue. I, I don't personally listen to her. But he basically said that he held her as a little baby. Bear in mind, this lady is like, I think, she, I think she's like 35. What's going on? Why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? So I was like, okay, the ludicrous one is fake. Yeah, basically he said the ludicrous one was real, but it's kind of like, you'd know it wasn't, you never partied with him. You just happened to see him in the same place as your birthday and he just came up to you and sat next to you. That's literally it. You never partied with him. I feel like he just did all of that because he just wanted to tell me that he partied with Ludacris before. And it's kind of like, I don't even listen to Ludacris. So I genuinely don't even care. 
And the thing is, yeah, he didn't even know who he was until like after. And ooh, he, <laughs> I just remembered he tried to hold my hand across the table. I was like, what are you doing? And I never said it like that, but I was just like, oh. <laughs> this story time is just a roast. Anyway, so we, at this point, we had already like ordered, the food was actually really nice. They did like, what's that? I'm gonna say it wrong, but I don't care. It's like bao, bao, a bao, bao buns. So these chicken wings, they were, they were actually nice, but it's kind of like, they weren't nice enough for him to be doing the most. So we ordered the chicken wings now. Chicken wings came. Chicken wings came. I'm, put, I'm eating the wings, eating the chicken wings, and I'm putting it on the side, on the side, on the small table. On the small table, on the small plate. So he's there eating his chicken wings as well. After I put like what the seventh one down, this grown ass man. Guys, can you guess what colour he is, please? Guess guess the the race of the man in the um comment. I wanna I wanna see where y'all think he is from. So he's like, you missed some pieces. I can use this chicken as a demonstration. So I've eaten it to about to about this. He's like, oh, like you finished with that. You kind of missed a few pieces. I didn't even get to respond. He took it. He was doing this to my chicken bones. He licked it. He licked it clean. And all there was left was pieces of bone because he was also biting the ends of some of, some of them. The squidgy part. Cartilage, bruv. I was like, I, I just couldn't believe it because how, what? In a pandemic, even if it wasn't even a pandemic, it's weird, it's weird. I could have TB, TB type two. Is that even type two? I could have TB and you're there. No, no. Cut, cut, cut. You want to be gobbling, he, guys, he gobbled. He gobbled them up. <laughs> you think, yeah, that the reason why he was eating the chicken bones is because he had finished his. Nope, no, 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 no. He still had about six on his plate. There were still six or five left on his plate of chicken wings. And I didn't even know how to react. I was just looking at him like, this really cannot be happening. There's, there's no way. Ain't no way. Ain't, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way. No, you nasty. Five minutes after that, I was, I was gone. I was gone. But then after he wanted um to go to another place because he said he had um booked another place like this like lounge or something. <sighs> I said no I, I gotta go. I have to go. Even after he did the wings thing, he tried to hold my hand again. He tried to hold my hand again, guys. He was slobbering on the chicken bone and give me eye contact. Y'all better stop the madness. <laughs> Y'all better stop the madness. Like, yeah, I don't know whether he thought it was kind of some sort of seduction thingy, but it's just, no. 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 Hell no. 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 Made up an excuse to go and I was out out of there within five minutes. Um, when I got home, I sent him a message. I was like, because he was trying to see me on another another day. I was like, yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Like, we're just not, like, we're just not compatible. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Because there ain't no way. Because there ain't no way. <laughs> when I tell you I was flabbergasted, discombobulated, crinkum crankum, 
disgusted, afraid, frightened, disheveled, like, bruh. Mm. That's basically it. I'm logging off, but not forever. Check me out. Hear the weather. Follow me on Instagram, 8 Adeza, A D E Z E. And also on Twitter, Twitter, 8 Adeza, A D E Z E. And Snapchat, D Z I I I, 1 2 3. Hello people of the internet, people of the earth. So today, it's basically a horrible story time. The most weird, okay, it's not, yeah, one of the most weirdest dates I've ever been on. Like, the one, one of the most weirdest people I've ever encountered in life.